today's video, we are doing trying viral Heidi Lau Hoppa Hacks part two. Woo! So you guys liked part one so much that we are back to try more hot pot hacks and we have been reading the comments Especially mom. She literally has been reading them every day If you have a thumbs up on your comment, it's probably from mom And so we saw that some of you guys recommended some adjustments to make to some of the hacks that we didn't like as much in the first video We're gonna see if doing some adjustments mm -hmm. might make them taste better <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> taste better. I really like it when you guys thumbs up the video. Yes, don't disappoint mom. Make sure you hit the thumbs up on the video. She literally checks every day. <laughs> and yeah, without further ado, let's head inside. Let's go. <laughs> Alright, so we just ordered a bunch of stuff for our hack. So for our first hack, we have a, another broth hack. And our first broth hack went pretty well yeah. from the last video. So from the sauce bar, we're supposed to add sesame sauce, green onions, chopped celery, high chili, oyster sauce, spiced beef, vinegar, garlic, chili powder, crushed peanuts, sesame oil, and salt. There's so much stuff that it had three bowls of oh. stuff for this one broth. Add this in. Ooh. First bowl. Second bowl. And third bowl. <laughs> Let's give it a good stir. Whoa. Broth looks mighty good. Definitely thicker than last time. It's supposed to taste like a mala broth. Oh. But we'll see if it actually does. I thought yeah. it was interesting that a mala broth would have so much sesame in it. Ah. And then before we try that broth, we actually have to do the marinated quail eggs. You guys might remember this from the first hack video, but some of you guys in the comments were recommending to poke it with a fork or a toothpick so that the marinade could go in the eggs better because last time I was saying that it wasn't flavorful enough. So mom is uh, preparing the toothpicks. So we're gonna just go ahead and poke them. <laughs> it's like a little game. I know, right? Oh, mom, you're poking them multiple times? Yeah. I thought we we're just poking them once. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I am poking them multiple times. Mom, there's too many. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's see if mom's tastes better than yours. Okay, we'll see. We can see how that tastes with one poke, and then we can see how they taste with multi pokes. Multi pokes. <laughs> so from the sauce bar, we have soy sauce, spring onion, sesame, garlic, and sesame oil in here. And I also added a little Thai chili because I know mom likes it spicy and I like it spicy too. So we're gonna mix this up and then we're gonna pour it with our eggs. Get that all around. So we're gonna let this sit on the side and marinate and we're gonna try it at the end. All right, so now let's grab a piece of beef and then we're gonna put it in our broth, our DIY broth. Cheers. Mmm. Mmm. Whoa. It's pretty good, actually. Very flavorful. Yeah, super, super flavorful. You get like a spicy sesame kind of flavor. Mm-hmm. I wouldn't say it's mala. Though. I wouldn't say it's mala either. It tastes very tasty. Yeah, like it's really good and I would recommend trying it. Highly recommend. Do you like it better than the sukiyaki broth that we tried in the first one? Yes. Really? I do. It's better flavor than the sukiyaki broth last time and has a little kick to it. And a little kick, yeah, true. Super flavorful. It's really good. I'm actually impressed because I don't think I have had a sesame broth before but it actually works that's what we would do next time as mom would say next birthday yeah. <laughs> so for this hack i would give it eight and i would do it again i would give it 8.5 and we'll do it again so for this next hack we're gonna need chinese donuts also known as yotiao and we're also gonna need their handmade shrimp paste which is one of our favorite mm, things oh, yummy so good so what we do is we grab one of the yotiao and we kind of break it in half like okay. that and then we're gonna grab the shrimp paste and, and we're gonna pipe it huh pipe a shrimp paste just like that Ooh, i feel so fancy and then we sandwich it back up like that we're gonna add it in there and let it cook for a few minutes i imagine this is gonna be really good because i love yotao and i love shrimp paste it looks so good yeah it looks really good cheers, cheers. Wow. That shrimp paste is so good. It has mm. this nice like crunchy, crunchy snap. Crunchy snap. Oh, it's amazing. The shrimp paste itself is already so good. And then when you pair it with a Chinese donut, it adds this nice like fried donut-y flavor. Even though it lost the crunch from being boiled in the broth, it still carries on that yo tiao flavor. Yes, I love it. Had a little bit of a taste like the shrimp toast. Mm. I mean, mm -hmm. 
right? It basically is like shrimp toast. So if you like shrimp toast, you will love this. For this hack, I would give it 8.5. Me too. And would do again. Yes, yes, definitely. <laughs> so for this next hack, it's a spicy and sour noodle mm. hack. Last time, the sweet potato it noodle was one. So good. That we did so good. Since we shot that video, we've actually came back to Haidi Lao and done that hack because it was so good. The whole family loved it. Yes, they all loved it. It was someone's birthday. <laughs> if you're wondering why we were here. So we're gonna go ahead and add these vermicelli noodles into the mala broth. We're gonna let those cook for a few minutes. This broth looks so spicy. I know, and greasy too. Yeah. <laughs> you see all that spicy Chili oil. oil yeah. <laughs> Do you think it's ready, mom? Yeah, Noodle? I think so. Ooh, Whoa, oh my gosh. Wow. <laughs> they look really good and flavorful already. I know. <laughs> and then here we have from the sauce bar, a mixture of cilantro, green onion, Thai chili, spiced beef, vinegar, minced garlic, and crushed peanuts. So we're gonna go ahead and add that mixture Ooh. in. Ooh. And then we mix it all together. Wow. And then to top it all off, we add a scoop of the mala broth. Oh my gosh. Wow. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Look at that. Wow. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Mmm, mm. mm. I got punch in the face with flavor. Wow. It is super flavorful and spicy. It's spicy. No kidding. This is excellent. Yeah, you got the spice from the Thai chili from the sauce bar, but also the spice from the mala broth. And I love the freshness that the cilantro and the green onion adds. And then you get a little bit of the texture from those crushed peanuts as well. But it's not like a super peanutty flavor. It just adds this kind of little crunch. Wow. Whoever thought of that is a genius. A genius? Who knew there were so many good noodle hacks at Heidi Lao? We have to leave some for uh, Jessica. I saw some of you guys commenting on the first one, wondering if Jessica gets to eat. Of course she gets to eat after. After we're done filming, we all just feast, Jessica included. So don't worry, she gets well fed over here. <laughs> I'm actually so surprised at how chewy the vermicelli is. Sometimes when I see these really thin rice noodles, I'm not sure if they're the kind that will just fall apart in your mouth yeah. or if they're the kind that will have a nice chew. This one definitely has a nice chew. Yes. So for this hack, I would think I would give it a nine and I would do it again. I would give it a nine too. Yes, we'll do it again. <laughs> yes. All right, so this next next hack is actually kind of similar to one of the hacks from the first video. It has to do with tomato and egg. So in the first video, we did the tomato egg broth, but this one is called a tomato egg fried rice. Oh. But the thing is that our Heidi Lao is not serving fried rice. So we got normal white rice and we're going to try to make the sauce a little extra flavorful to kind of counteract the fact that we don't have fried rice and just regular plain rice. Okay. Yeah. Got it. So first we have our egg and then we have this mixture from the sauce bar, which is basically just soy sauce and it calls for pepper, but our Heidi Lao didn't have pepper it had this thing called pepper oil but then it was not an oil it was a powder oh but yeah it was interesting, just interesting huh? and confusing but <laughs> i smelled it and it didn't smell like pepper so what i did instead is i add a little chili powder okay so we improvised a little bit there so i'm gonna add some of that in there with the egg and then we're gonna beat the egg together like that so then we're gonna take the solid ladle and we're gonna pour our egg mixture in and kind of let it cook like that Hello. it's supposed to kind of stay in one piece it's it is floated out yeah. yeah i don't know how they did that in the video because then it just kind of turned into the last hack with the egg flour <laughs> soup well we can scoop it up yeah we can still scoop it but i'll probably try to do it again because we have another egg i think maybe i did the hack wrong i don't know maybe i wasn't supposed to put the spoon in so far all right round two we're gonna try this again we have another egg and then we have our soy sauce and chili powder beat it together again all right second try uh oh oh oh, no. oh, oh, oh. Okay, I don't know. This hack is kind of hard. It's a technically challenging Yeah, hack. technically challenging hack. It's like you need some skills to do it correctly. <laughs> what is happening is we're using the ladle as a pan. It's transferring heat to the eggs inside the ladle right. to cook it. Right, right, right. We've literally been cooking it in this ladle for like 10 minutes and it's <laughs> finally cooked. But it looks nothing like the video. <laughs> this is the final product. It looks nothing like the video. <laughs> and it took 10 minutes of babysitting. It. <laughs> yeah. So we're gonna scoop our egg onto the rice. It's stuck to the ladle because the ladle was acting like a pan. And it's not a non-stick pan. And either. it's not a non-stick pan. Here are some of the eggs that fell out and cooked on their own. So I'm gonna <laughs> add those. And then from the soft bar, we have soy sauce and spiced beef. So we're gonna add some of that in there. And then in the video, they said fried shallots, but our Heidi Lao didn't have fried shallots. They had fried garlic. So oh. we got some fried garlic to put on top. We're gonna mix this all together together. All right, this is our final result. <laughs> All right, ready? Okay. Cheers. Cheers. Mm, not, not very good. Mm. 
I taste the flavor that's mostly the, the sauce. Spiced beef. And not much tomato egg flavor. No. If I was given this to eat, I would eat it, but I wouldn't be like, mmm, so yummy, you know? <laughs> Considering that the taste is not that good, you have to babysit the egg for 10 minutes in the broth. Although we, I don't, I really don't think we did that correctly, but I don't know if this hack just requires some technical skills that we don't have. <laughs> Could be that. But yeah, I think I would give this hack like two out of 10. Would not do again. I agree with you. You two out of 10 too? Two, two out of 10. <laughs> it's too much work and it didn't yield the result we hoped for. No, 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 yeah. All right, so for this next hack, it's actually, we're revisiting one of the hacks from the first video, which is the bean curd wrap hack. And some of you guys in the comments were saying that we need to dip the bean curd skin into the broth first so it can cook a little bit and that'll make it easier to unwrap. So let's go ahead and try that. So we're gonna add one of these in here. Oh, it already looked like easier to unwrap. And then we're gonna unroll it. Ah, ah yes. yes, yes, yes. It is Success. indeed easier to unroll. Very nice. And then we're gonna grab a beef, lay it on there. Oh. And then we squeeze on the shrimp paste and then we spread the shrimp paste so that it cooks faster. Because if you leave it in a, a lump like that, it takes too long to cook. Then we just wrap it up. Well, it's much easier actually, yeah. Wow, thank you for the tips. <laughs> yes, very helpful. It's ah. much more intact. All right, let's put it in this spicy pork bone broth soup and we're gonna let it cook for like five minutes or so. All right, our bean curd wraps are ready. Ooh, Look at that, it stayed yay, intact. Yay, <laughs> success. Alrighty, cheers. cheers. So much better. Way better this time. Now that I would do again. Mm -hmm. So pro tip is to make sure you just dunk the bean curd wrap in the broth for like a few seconds just yeah. to let it be easier to unroll. Right. And then everything is all good. Yes. This time you can really see the layers in the roll. Like you can see the layer of beef, the layer of shrimp paste, and the layer of bean curd. And it actually looks like a real wrap this time. I would give it eight. Same, hey. We, we have agree. the same rating. Eight out of 10 would do again. Yes, wow. Thank you for the tip. So for our next hack, it's actually very similar to the bean curd wrap, but instead of the bean curd, you use cabbage. Oh. Napa cabbage, yeah. So we have our piece of cabbage here. We're gonna do the same thing. Grab a piece of beef, and we're gonna lay it here. Ayo. Yeah, I think we're gonna have to fold it. Ayo, like that. And then we're gonna add a little layer of shrimp paste. We're gonna spread it, and then we're gonna roll it up. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> like that. Yes. And then to keep it together, we have some toothpicks. So we toothpick it on both sides. Yeah. This is our little cabbage wrap. All and right. we're gonna put it into the broth. And then we let it cook for a few minutes. Wow, look at our cabbage dumplings. Oh, good. <laughs> Mine didn't hold together that well. Cheers. Cheers. Actually quite tasty. I really like how the Napa cabbage soaked up so much flavor from the broth. With the vegetable wrap, uh -huh. it's a little bit more refreshing actually. Mm, yes. Yeah, you get that nice refreshing crunch oh, from yes. the stem of the Napa. Yeah, I like it a lot. Mm. I think I'm going to give it an 8.5. Mm. So you like this one better than the bean curd one? Actually, I, I do. Mm. I think I would give it probably an 8. Okay. Yeah, I would do them again, but this one is a little more hassle. It's more complicated to like roll up the with a Napa cabbage and then you have to put the toothpicks in. It doesn't stay together as well. True, but I like it better. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, so for this next hack, it's another wrap. We're yeah, having a lot of wraps, wraps today. Yeah. So this one is like a beef, shrimp paste, and enoki wrap but our Hai Lao is out of Anokis right now. So we have these other mushrooms. What are these mushrooms called? Seafood mushrooms? Are they seafood mushrooms? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> they are very similar to Anokis though. Mm -hmm. So that's why we figured we could Try do a little replacement. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, 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 okay, don't use that one. <laughs> wow. Should I fold it in half? Yeah. Oh yeah. It looks like it's falling apart already. Yeah. And then we have a little bit of shrimp paste. Oh my gosh. That shrimp paste is being in everything. In, I know, being put in very good use today. Then we're gonna spread it, you know the drill, and then we're gonna add some of these mushrooms. We're gonna wrap it up. Haha! -ha. This one is easy. <laughs> it's I know. so cute. I know it is. All right, and then we drop it in. It should cook pretty fast. Right. Oh, wow. Look at our little mushroom bundles. These look so cute. Yay. They're adorable. Look like little bouquets. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. 
It's good, but not as flavorful. Mm, this one is not as flavorful. I do like it because I like beef and shrimp paste and mushrooms, but I do think it would be better with enoki mushrooms rather than these seafood mushrooms, as mom calls them. <laughs> <laughs> I think, you know, with enoki mushroom, the flavor will infuse into it. Mm, that's true, yeah. This one wouldn't soak up the flavor as much of the broth, but it's still good. It's easy to make. Yeah, it, this one is easier to make than some of the other wraps. And whether or not I would do it again, I'm not quite Quite sure. I think with the Anokis, I would try it again, but with this one, I might not try it again. It's not bad, but since the flavor didn't get soaked in the mushroom, I'm not sure if I'd do this one again. I agree. I would give it a seven. I'd probably give it a seven too. <laughs> okay, <laughs> we've been agreeing on this I know, time. we have the same rating. All right, so it's finally time to try our marinated quail eggs. I'm really hoping that this is better than last time. And it's about the same amount of marinating time, so we did about an hour and a half. So first, let's try the one with one poke. Ooh, look yeah. at these, they look so good. Mm. It's more marinated than last time, for sure. But look at the inside, it's kind of still pale. Yeah, the inside is a little bit pale still, but, but it definitely flavor, has more flavor than last flavor time. is better. Like last time, it didn't even really taste like it had been marinating much, but this time you can definitely taste it. Yeah, let's try a multi-poke. Yeah, let's try a multi-poke. Cheers. Cheers. I do think it's a bit more flavorful than the one poke, but not by that much. Not by that much, yeah. Huh, that's so interesting that the multi poke tastes pretty similar to the one poke. <laughs> <laughs> I think this is definitely better than the first Last time we time, tried it. Yeah. yeah. I think I would try it again. I might try more multi poking to try to make it more flavorful, but I would definitely give it another shot. Yeah, me too. That multi poke is working for me. <laughs> Based on this time, I think I would give it like a seven out of ten. Yeah, I would too. I would. Too. <laughs> We're agreeing on everything. All yeah. All the ratings we have the same number. I know. I wonder why. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so that's it for today's Heidi Lau Hot Pot Hacks video. Comment below what was your favorite hack from this video or the first video, and also comment if you guys have any suggestions for the hacks because we got some good suggestions for you guys to redeem the hacks yeah. for this video. Yeah. Remember to thumbs up the video. Mom will be so happy. <laughs> And we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!